Alright YouTube Big Germs Garage here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video of a winch that I recently purchased from Harbor Freight. Um, it is a Badland winch. Um, it's a uh, 2,000 pound capacity. Let's see what it says here. This one is unlike the other one that you might have seen in some of my videos. This one does not have the uh, radio or wireless remote. This one actually has a button that goes on your handle handlebar with a uh, 10 foot uh, long wire um, let's see here free spooling fast line out permanent magnet motor draws less current ideal for ATV use three stage planetary gear system for fast line speed automatic load handling brake for maximum safety um, let me get it open here this uh and I, I don't even really know what I'm going to do with it, but um, if you go back and watch some of my other videos, you'll see that I bought a Chicago winch from Harbor Freight about maybe a year ago or so, and um, I attached that to my Polaris Scrambler, and that one's got the wireless remote, and uh, I think that one was rated at 3,000 um, pounds. The Chicago one that I bought was uh, right about 50 bucks when I bought it. This one was actually on sale. Uh, regular 79 bucks or so and then it was on sale for 50 something and then I had 20% off and it ended up being like uh, $40, 45 bucks, something like that. But um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, here we have, uh, I guess the solenoid, wires, or control box, some more. Here's the switch that goes on the handlebar. Um, bracket. A bunch of little packs of bolts. Um, here's the actual winch. Uh, the one thing that it does not come with it is the plate that goes underneath it. Um, basically, the plate that this hooks to. Uh, I think I've got left one left over from my other winch. But um, it comes with a little red strap that hangs from the hook. Uh, looking at the manual, let's see. I was kind of irritated when I bought it and realized it was missing the bracket piece. Um, I'm not even sure what it's called. But then I looked and found out that this model doesn't even come with it. Um, Yeah, the big box was a solenoid box right there. Um, then we had a circuit breaker. This thing is terrible at reading stuff. Circuit breaker um, was the other little piece. Uh, hmm. Anyway, so. I'm gonna. I was thinking about maybe putting this on my trailer. That piece right there. That's the piece that doesn't come with. It goes underneath it. Um, basically, the bracket uh, number 30. That's called the mounting plate. Um, I think I've got an extra one of those, so I'll see if it fits. But um, my original thought was to maybe mount this at the front of my trailer, so that if I have stuff that doesn't roll too easy, or uh, sometimes when I go get jump, junk bikes and stuff, they uh. They don't roll, and if I'm by myself, it's hard to get up in the trailer. Um, so I figured this might be easy just to pull it up in there. Um, or maybe, if you go back and look at one of my videos, I've got an Arctic Cat 500. Uh, I'd also thought about maybe attaching this to it once I get that running. Um, currently, it's not running. But anyway, not much to look at. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, tell you that if you catch Harbor Freight, I don't, I mean, there's somebody told me there's stuff that's, you know, junk. But um, I haven't had any issues yet, uh, except for uh, some kind of a light tester that I had that, um, t didn't work when, when I got it and, and stuff. But uh, the other, the Chicago winch works. It's uh, I've used it a couple of times when I've needed it. Um, not a whole lot, but um, it's, it's done what I've asked it to. Um, so this one, I, I don't do anything heavy duty. Uh, no kind of real heavy stuff being pulled. Or usually when I get stuck, if you're watching the videos from down on the farm, it's not really deep. Um, usually we can pull most of it out by hand, but having a winch makes it a little bit more fun. But um, anyway, 
This is my uh, quick review of the Badlands winch from Harbor Freight. Um, 2,000 pound capacity. Check back for future videos of me mounting this somewhere uh, for future use, um, just for the fun of it. Actually, I, I also thought about giving it to my, my nephew, who has a small Polaris Sportsman 90. Um, I thought about giving this to Christmas, but we ended up buying him something else, so I might end up giving it to him anyway at some point. We'll see. But for 40 bucks, you can't really beat it. But. All right, once again, Badland Winch, 2,000 pound capacity Harbor Freight it was about 45 bucks after all the coupons. Thanks for watching. Please check back and watch other videos or future videos from Big Drums Garage.